So this is my Macintosh C20 preamplifier. Uh, it's on the bench. I'm gonna be recapping it um, with the power supply caps and the capacitors for the um, heaters, as well as there's uh, two or three electrolytics in one. Um, you can see this top case has been cut into, so I don't feel so bad about making it sonically uh, nice. It's also kind of scratched up. So, uh, it, it was in a, a fairly industrial environment. It has, um, like, it had marks on the front for where to set the volumes and everything like that. There were just stickers. I was able to get them off cleanly. Um, but they tapped into this area for, like, 6 volts and then ran it it back out, back into the amp, and then actually had it tied to one of the outlets, of the, like the um, the uh, normally for like 120 volt mains out. They had it tied in to that, so maybe they were running um, like a, an amplifier's heaters or a tape player or something like that. I'm not really sure what they were doing with it, um, but it was strange. You can get into it. And you can see this is just ugly. Um, it looks like a number of these were replaced. Um, these are supposed to be green and they're black. Uh, it follows a uh, EIA EIA um, color code. So, um, you know, the, those would be green on you know, two halves of the pot or uh, the wiper and the one side of the pot be green, the other side of the ground. Uh, back here you can see it's all original, original caps, original resistors. Um, it, it's in fairly good shape list sonically. Uh, the, like I said, everything was never touched. None of the, the power switch, which is always fails on these. Um, or I mean like the pots and the power switch, the whole unit. Um, that usually fails on these because there's so much work on them. This one specifically because of where it was and how it was probably turned on and off with a breaker and the volume was just set to a specific volume all the time. Uh, it wasn't, there's no use to these. So they're, they're in good shape. Over for you. I, I have been in here recently. Uh, I, I got started. Uh, all of like these extra wires, they just added like an inch to some of these wires. So you can see some here. Um, oh, geez. Sorry. Uh, you can see some some length of wire were just tapped in and added for some silly reason. Uh, but you can see all the original caps, all the original electrolytics. Uh, I've already taken out the capacitor for the heater that's here. Uh, it measured no capacitance, so that that, that needs to be replaced. Uh, those the ripples on those were intense, um, so that's getting replaced. You can see I, I was playing with the um, the outlets here, and that's because they had this one was removed from the circuit and had six volts out. I don't know why, um, but I, I've redone this specifically so that the uh, switch is now fused. The, the switch used to not be fused. It used to be the switch would turn on everything else and then everything, the only thing that was fused was the transformer and everything after the transformer. So the switch is fused. All of these outlets are fused. I'm never going to put anything on it. Maybe a turntable, but there's, there's no need for these to each be able to, you know, carry more than an amp besides like the size wire that they used on the inside. This is my work cell, you know, um, but you know, the, that being so small, you don't want too much current going through these. And I don't want too much heat in, on any of these wires anyway, so uh, the one amp fuse will, uh, you know, protect all of these, protect the switch, and it will protect the preamp itself. The amplifiers um, that run with this are on their own relay system, so there's no problems there. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna replace this. Uh, we're gonna replace this capacitor uh, probably will replace these two capacitors and um, these these weird lengths of wire that were just 
added in. I, I got rid of most of them. These red ones had them. And there was enough length on the other side that I was able to just stretch those over. Um, this green one down here, you may not be able to see. You can't see, sorry. Let's do this. So, uh, this green one here, I should be using a pointer. Apologies. Uh, right here, that was a uh, this brown and orange extension. So that one had enough length. This one does not have enough length. It runs back to behind that capacitor. So um, I'm gonna just replace that entirely with a the same stuff. The you know the the 22 gauge solid. Um, and then the, the the lines on that that potentiometer those are going to be replaced as well. But you can see you know it's uh, it's in fairly good condition for it being a uh, like an in, in an industrial environment. You can see the uh, the on and off or have been kind of sorry no that just the on. It, that says off. You can't even read it because it's been rubbed so hard. And that's just for people like using their thumb. I just, you know, just grab the knob. Um, not too bad. The, let's, let me get this back up in here and we'll, uh, oops, sorry. this back over so you can see I'll show you this potentiometer up close so yeah these two wires they're um, they're original but this has been replaced you can see maybe you can see like, like there's that another one of those jumpers they just jumped like an extra inch of wire rather than replacing the entire thing um, and they cut the they cut the chassis open. Uh, this wire and this wire there they've been replaced. Those aren't original, so we'll replace those with green twisted uh, a green twisted pair all the way back to the potentiometers. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, you can see I, I used uh, LEDs on the inside. That's just to keep it cool. Don't want any bubbling. Um, lettering's in pretty good shape knobs have aged I mean we tried to clean them up best we could uh, the end caps have been replaced those were not there when I got this uh, but you can see like some dings uh, let's see we'll uh, put your back up here and uh, Again, you know, semi semi industrial environment. So once it was hooked up, it wasn't really fussed with. But someone may have bumped it or kicked it or wherever it was mounted. Maybe it was mounted in a moving rack. They just had that sticking out the back. So that that knot is broken. But all the letterings here, it all looks really nice. I feel bad, like, you know, like these aren't on, uh, there's not many of these on YouTube. Maybe the ones that are on here are just for listening, so I figured if you wanted to see inside, I'd uh, put this video up for you. Um, but I'm, I'm going to, you know, do this work and I'll, I'll film most of it and maybe we'll get something along going. I don't know. We'll see.